and you'll hear it right through the ends of these very, very, very loud. Like it is ear piercing. Wow, that noise is so annoying. It's like fingers on a chalkboard sometimes. If you have that noise, you're at the right place because we're going to talk about what causes that and how to fix it. But it's in the suspension. I'll give you that much of a hint. And don't forget to go to 1AAuto.com for all your car part needs. You're going to need them because it's a very simple fix, but we're going to show you what causes it, tie rod end or ball joint. It could be either one making that noise. We're going to get into it right now. So now we've lifted the vehicle up. Now you can put a jack stand under the tire, but you want actually under both front tires. So you want the front end up off the ground. Now we're going to determine what side the sound is coming from, or both sides. Hopefully it's just one. Be a little cheaper for you and easier to fix. So you raise it up, just hold it under with the jack stands or on a lift. You're going to take the tire and you're going to go back all the way. Make sure the steering wheel's not locked. I had it here, right there. Now, it's hard to turn. I've got to put all my weight right into it. And that's, that's pretty tight. That's, that's you, you're going to fight that going down the road. So now I'm going to show you the next step. Let's take the tire off and get to it. Okay, so it goes without saying the tire's off. We've checked the front end. There's no loose parts. So now we know there's no loose parts, but there are frozen parts, and that's what makes that noise. So the first thing you're going to need to do is take this tie rod end out. So we're going to get rid of the cotter pin. Get that right out of the way. If it breaks, it breaks. Um, we have to reuse a new one anyways, but sometimes they break off in it, and then that causes a little bit of a havoc. Oh, look at that. Better go buy a ticket, lottery ticket. And this one happens to be a 21 millimeter socket. We're gonna take that nut, castle nut off. And then I'm gonna have to take a hammer to it to tap it right out of that knuckle. Just keep a couple of threads on so it doesn't drop down. All right. Now what that does right there is that is go freeing up this tie rod end. And if we still have a trouble turning this, if it's really stiff, then we know that that creaking noise is in a ball joint. Oh, see, look how free that is. So there's your answer. I couldn't even turn that with, with both hands before. So now I know the ball joints are good. And that tie rod end is really frozen. So I've got creakiness happening here, <laughs> which would make indication because that is pretty dry. If I could get that boot open, it's not torn, but if I tear that boot open, but I'm going to find rust all inside that ball socket. But let's, let's go a little bit further and check the other side. Even though the noise is coming from this side, let's make sure the other side is not affecting or a pitman arm or an idler arm. So I came over here on the driver's side because I just wanted to show you that, what the difference would feel like. So now I undid that tie rod in very easily. And look at, I mean, I can, it almost falls back on itself, right? Look how easy that is. Tie rod in. And I'm not, I'm not even faking that. That's how easy that is. That's normal force. That other side, I went back over, and I'm pulling like this, and it won't turn. So that determines that outer tie rod end is frozen. And that's causing that, because it's having a huff, tough time inside this spindle sits inside this knuckle. And this is having a tough time turning when you turn the wheel. When this wheel turns like this, this has to go back and forth to go with the ride. That side is not doing it, so you got the sound of like metal on metal forcing itself on there, and you're gonna have that high pitch squeak. And now a good way to kind of prevent that is to get a greasable fitting. This is a non-greasable tie rod end. They're not bad. If you can get a greasable one, I kind of recommend it because it's good for maintenance. If you're gonna do the maintenance, because you have to. Look at this one's a greasable ball joint boot has no grease in it. No one, ever, no one ever does it. So that's the other issue with greasable ball joints and tie rod ends. They just don't get done anymore. Even when you go to shops so you don't have your, you don't have time to do it yourself, which you should, because it's something you should get into and do your own maintenance with. They're not greasing this. 
you're paying someone to do an oil change, and that includes lube, should always, and it always has, and they're not greasing it. So wear and tear on your parts, gonna cost you money in the long run. And aggravation, because right now we're solving a mystery. So we're outside here, because I want to show you another way to check ball joints. If the creaking doesn't happen when you jack it up or if it's on a lift, you need the weight of the vehicle on it. So we're out here on the ground, and I'm gonna have Pete turn the wheel. Turn the wheel, Pete. Pretty loud, right? We can hear it. So a quick way to do this is you can pick up a thesoscope at any parts store for under 10 bucks easily. And you put it right on the ball joint right here. Go ahead. And you'll hear it right through the ends of these. Very, very, very loud. Like it is ear piercing. And then you're gonna move it to the upper ball joint and do the same thing. Go ahead. Now I can tell that the sound is duller. It's not as loud, but I can feel it because it's gonna travel right through that knuckle because of where it's attached at the knuckle. So it's traveling right up. You can also use your hand. By putting your hand on it, you'll feel more of a vibration right here. Go ahead. Than I would when I put my hand up here. So I'm immediately gonna change this lower ball joint Feel like there's something wrong inside there and that's where that creaking sounds from. On the other side with the car lifted we found the tie rod and frozen and that's where we couldn't turn the wheel so we had two issues here and they both solved. So that concludes our video on frozen ball joints and tie rod ends. If you're not a subscriber please subscribe and don't forget to ring that bell because it turns on all your notifications so you won't miss any future videos. <laughs> that's why you're here to find out what Oh Keep rolling. I'm going back one step. Here I go. So thanks for no, but don't forget to check out oneayana.com.